What brings me here is, of course, a wisdom. The Eastern wisdom meets the Western wisdom, and there's a synthesis of a global wisdom. I think it is an excellent opportunity to meet some interesting people, to exchange different views. You have a wonderful quality of people here, people that were running countries. It is not every day uh, that I find myself on the same panel as five serving presidents of countries. But I was quite impressed by the choice of the title because it speaks about power and interests. And usually international conferences avoid these concepts. I welcome more than 50 countries. And the total number of guests is more than 260. I would say maybe a bit surprisingly that the citizens currently hold the power. The people of the world. Everything we understand in international relations is changing radically. The role of the superpowers is changing. The role of citizenry is changing. In five, ten years from now, the world will be completely different. We'll have different coalitions, different regional projects, infrastructure. The role of China will uh, be increasing tremendously. What about China? What it means rising of China? The other challenges that they mentioned is not only for Chinese itself, it's for the whole world, because China is a big engine. We need to educate the new generation of youngsters, where they will be able to uh, understand and think for themselves, so that the positivity will come into the world, and I think it will make the world a better place. I wish I had a crystal ball to be able to tell you what the future will hold. But I think there is a responsibility on humanity in general, and more importantly, on the world governments, not to accept the status quo, but to try to improve it.